Hi friends! Today is going to be the TBR takedown for the month of November. If you are new here, the TBR takedown is a game I've been playing since 2019, trying to get my physical unread TBR shelf down from a really high number, which was 240 unread books on my shelves in 2019, down to something more manageable. Currently, we are sitting at 85 books. Typically, this is also where I do my haul, so if there's anything new that I brought in this month, I will talk to you about that. Um, we will go over books that I DNF'd or read, but the actual review for those will be in yesterday's video, which was my November wrap up, or in the video the day prior to that, which was my recently read ARCs wrap up. Uh, so let's get started. I try to do this as chronological as possible. So the first thing we need to do is haul two books, technically one book, but two books. Um, these are the Luminaries by Susan Dennard. This is the Barnes & Noble Special Edition. This is the Standard Edition. I also have a UK edition coming to me from Illumicrate, and I am super fucking stoked. Um, I also pre-ordered the paperback, I think. I don't know. I ordered a lot. It's, it's fine. I ordered a bunch. Uh, if you don't know, the Luminaries is the newest series by Susan Dennard, which follows Winnie Wednesday, who is part of this clan of people who fight monsters and nightmares, if you will. The book follows Winnie trying to basically win back her family's honor by joining the Hunters and taking the Hunter trials, which she's not very well trained or prepared for because her family has kind of been excommunicated throughout the years. And so it follows her trying to make up with some of her friends from the past and some of her um, more present day friends. She doesn't really have any friends at the beginning of the book, but people who become her friends um, and working together and trying to figure out a big mystery in their town as well as figuring out other mysteries as well. Um, I also then read The Luminaries by Susan Dennard. Uh, so these came on and then immediately it went back off. I then read Glassheart by Kate Alice Marshall, which was a, an audiobook, so it doesn't count. And also along with that is The Coldest Touch by Isabel Sterling, which I don't have a physical copy of, so it does not count. I then read The Kiss Curse by Aaron Sterling, which obviously does count. I then DNF'd The Wicked Remain by Laura Pohl, which was an arc and doesn't count. And then read Accomplished by Amanda Quain, which was an arc, so it doesn't count. I then DNF'd Pretty Dead Queens by Alexa Dunn, which was an arc, so it doesn't count. I then DNF'd and am therefore unhauling Wuthering Heights by one of the Bronte sisters, which one? Emily. Um, and because I didn't really love that, I then tried to read a little bit of Jane Eyre and also did not like that either. So these guys are going. And while I was perusing my shelves, um, I recently, as you can tell, took down all of my shelves from behind me because this used to be where all my shelves were, like, in, you know, videos a month ago. Um, so while I was pulling everything down off of the shelves, I also, uh, found another book that I want to unhaul for reasons, and that is Aurora Burning by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. No shade to Amy Kaufman, but she keeps weird friends. Um, I just don't want to read any more J. Kristoff books, so they go in. I then read Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik, which does come off of my TBR, clearly, because I own it. And then I DNF'd The Merciless Ones by Namina Forna, which I don't want a physical copy of, so it does not come off of my shelves. Uh, this was a pretty straightforward month. There was not a lot of purchases, a few reads that counted, and a few DNFs that counted, or unhauls that counted. Um, not a lot going on. So we are finishing the month of November with a total of 80 books on my unread physical TBR shelf. I actually have a single TBR book case now that only has three shelves on it with unread books. It is fantastic. It is the coolest thing to just have like so few unread books get in comparison to where I was at in 2019. Um, I'm not excited about how many of those I have DNF'd <laughs> um, because I've bought books, you know, based off of like not knowing what my tastes were or buying a lot of YA and then not really being into YA anymore. But, you know, that's life sometimes. So hopefully in the future, I will continue to do what I've been doing this year, which is 
reading audiobooks or ebooks or borrowing things from the library and then once I know that I enjoy it actually purchasing a copy um, that's been working really well for me that is one way that I've been really getting down my TBR shelves um, is by not purchasing more books that I haven't read yet so that is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!